A Wabash Valley couple is lucky to be alive tonight after their home is destroyed in an early morning fire. But what they're not happy with was the response from the fire department just a few doors away. News 10's Dan Klein has the story. Bart Border sifts through almost five years of memories, but few things are left to salvage. The Sullivan County home he lived in with his longtime girlfriend was destroyed in a fire early Tuesday morning. There wasn't anything I could do. It was, I just knew it was going to go and nothing I could really do about it. Steam still rises from the blackened wood. Border's girlfriend woke up shortly before 1230 because she couldn't breathe. Once she saw the orange glow of flames, she woke Borders up and the two escaped with just the clothes in their back and their six dogs. He couldn't go back in to save their cat or any valuables. I kind of wanted to, but she made me stay out and I'm glad she did because that house, it went in a matter of minutes. But those minutes seem like an eternity. The home sits about 300 yards from the new Lebanon Volunteer Fire Station. But the first trucks arrived from the Miram Fire Station, six miles away and 20 minutes after the initial 911 call. I think that whole 15 minute difference is probably a big, big difference in saving the house. The state fire marshal was on the scene Tuesday. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Borders is thankful his home is insured. He says he wants to rebuild, but he's not sure if it will be here. As long as we got our, ourselves out and the animals, we was happy. Happy to be alive, but unhappy thinking much more could have been saved. Reporting in Sullivan County with photojournalist John Tim, Dan Klein, News 10. Bart Borders and his girlfriend are staying with family in the area. News 10 has tried to contact the Guild Township Fire Department, but so far our messages have not been returned.